Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Multiple questions wrapped in one, man. Like, this is going to be the final part of this year, man. Um, 2022, final part. So, I asked this question to the group. Going into the new year, what can we expect in this new year? Second, what have we learned from this past year? And lastly, will this next one be better than the last two? Now, I ask these questions not only as in in reference to group-wise, but I ask this question in reference to society, politics, cultural, all aspects. You can take this question wherever you want to go. Oh, man. Uh, So I'll try to answer each of the different ones. I'd say for what I I think we can expect, I feel like it's going to be a lot more the same. I feel like what I mean by that is you're going to see a lot more civil unrest. You're going to see a lot more uh, polarization in the groups. And I mean that on all different levels from gender groups to social economic groups to racial groups to political groups, etc. Um, I think you're about to start to see the beginning of like, so you know how like society is kind of cyclical, like it goes really liberal then really conservative then really liberal i feel like you're about to see a lot of the backlash to like this hyper cancel culture whatever that backlash is going to look like i feel like you're going to start to see the beginnings of that groundswell start um, where it's going to cause some type of counterculture to go against that um and i don't think it's going to be healthy necessarily uh, to be honest with you. Um, and then as far as what we learned, I think we've learned that it pays to just be nice. Um, it's been a narrative that the nice guys finished last. But I think when it comes to the people that are still left being respected, it's usually people who led with respect. And I feel like a lot of the people who led with fuck shit are seeing their chickens come home to roost. So we've got to learn to like make sure that whatever you put out there, you really just stand on. You know what I mean? That from the Rico charges on the young rappers to you know, people maybe, you know, having illnesses or passing away after kind of being mean to people. Uh, mm. to Karma. Uh, to, yeah, just it's it's a lot of karma hitting folk right now. So like I think you know, we, we kind of learn to just be decent people, but might be the way to go. And then uh will it be better than the, the last two? I can't say better. I think it's gonna be whatever you thought of the last two, you probably gonna think more of the same. Like I don't see a big economic shift that's gonna make us feel better. I don't see a a large kumbaya moment coming that's going to make us feel better. So I feel like it's going to be a lot. Yeah, whatever you thought of the last two is going to be that. Um, I pretty much feel the same way. I don't really have that much faith in humanity <laughs> in, in, in general. And then I mean, if these past few years have showed me anything, it's like it's probably going to get worse before it get better. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I do feel like it is a reverse of the cancel culture going on right now. Like, um, like almost almost to the extent, like, say. I don't know. I just think that people are just getting tired of like false outrage, and 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 in general, like you got us for the first couple of years, but now it's like 
all right, we're it's like now it's become a trend. It's almost it, it's almost an algorithm now. Let's just find something for people to get pissed off at and put it in the in the media pretty much. But as far as us in general, I think we're gonna actually uh I think it's nothing but up from here, uh pretty much is as far as us going forward. Yeah, it just seems like everything that we accomplished so far is just telling us to just keep going and and keep moving and just have different steps, you know, different steps to improve um, the pod in, in general. I I'm had some, I think I'm have some ideas just um, just off of the past couple of opportunities that pop up in in general. I'm um, trying to network and and stuff in, in, in general, and I feel like that. Um, once I get certain things established or whatever, I feel like we, I'll be able to uh, extend it a little bit further. Just um, in, in general, like as far as like interviewing people, meeting people, like doing just different things in general. I I I, I think with us focusing on our like purpose or, or whatever, it's it's opening a lot of doors. I'm not even gonna lie to the move down here. It's been a little rough or whatever, and there's certain things that I had to get used to um, in, in general. But now that I got it, as far as the year going, I, I feel everything is going up um, pretty much. And then I would say the lesson that I've learned this year is like when your body is telling you something, just go with it or, or whatever. If you, you get that feeling like you just not – like something is really physically hurting you or whatever, and you know that it's not, I say, it's, it might be something that you are so used to that has probably provided for you for a while, like a job in general. But when you start feeling something in your body where it, it, it's almost feel like it's affecting your health, whatever you're doing, you need to listen to your body and, and, and and make plans to go forward pretty much because yeah that's what i went through this year pretty much okay so yeah this was definitely a year of like self-care taking care of yourself making sure that you know what i'm saying you got your mental and your physical health right so i, I definitely see that yeah. which was the year of the mind yeah so me <clears throat> what can we expect next year um, to build on what my brother said, more of the same. I see more of the same with it getting extremely worse. Um, I see the 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 end of cancel culture, but I see it being an extreme an extreme end where you have two extreme forces pushing on each other. Where it, the only thing that can result in it is the canceling of cancel culture itself. Um, I see that being social media will get to a new height, especially with this meta shit going on, and that's going to lead to other compounding compounding problems, especially with mental health, um, especially in the schizophrenic sector, where people will be putting these headsets on and actually losing grips of reality, um, and. She gonna be bad. I just see next year being bad. Financially, inflation. I see it continue to go up. Next season, mm -hmm. I see shit maxing out at two dollars more than it normally would be on most most normal needed items. Um. I see the continuous stupidity of this dumbass violence we have in the young community, especially in the young black community or the young urban community or the young hip hop community. However, motherfuckers want to phrase it. I see that stupid shit still continuing. But I see it at the end of the year coming to a slow halt because it's going to be, Lord forbid me saying it, but it's going to be a, a very important death of somebody, somebody close to somebody else of some power 
that then shit gonna start being said or simply start being done. Because as we all know, until problems that happen to everybody becomes problems of somebody important, those problems don't really matter. Yeah. Is the year gonna be better than the last two? Hell no. I think it's going to be right up there with 2021. I think it's going to outdo 2022 and rank right, right up there with 2021. I don't see no, no, I don't see the pandemic or the virus getting any worse than it was, but I just see the compounded issues around everything else. There's been a slow build just coming to a boil next year. Um, lessons learned. Uh, culturally, I don't think nobody learned shit. Cause shit just getting worse over the past couple of years. Shit ain't on, on on a majority scale. Shit ain't getting better. We have little things in certain sectors getting better on a slow scale, but that's just like that's just natural. As with as with all things, when big things get bad, little things get good. So I'm just waiting for the big good things to happen. Um, hopefully they will come, but I don't see them coming next year. Maybe in 2024. Um, Mm. My hope is that 2023 brings some type of levity, level, levity, excuse me, to this continuous infighting that our country is having. Somebody actually does something about media and how they're continuing to continue to put these dumbass issues in the air and continue to divide us. Where there's other shit they could be reporting on to help bring us together. That's real. That's real. That's funny. Well, I think that's that's a. I think those are some really cool like hypotheses to like kind of stop on and, and reflect on. It'll be cool to look back on at the end of next year and see like how close we got to that um and also like kind of just taking that wide angle look at like the past couple of years and going into the next year like so kind of taking with that theme like let's kind of zoom in a little bit and offer of society in general and kind of look at ourselves like we have been officially now we're now going into our third year we've kind of followed the 2020s um you know what i'm saying and kind of been there right with it every year of it from conception to now so like what do y'all think uh is the best lesson that you've learned specifically from podcasting whether it be from the actual act of us you know being creators now and making the podcast or from a conversation that has been had through the podcast Never be afraid to speak openly because you never know someone else out there may have the same thoughts or feelings or emotion as you, but just don't have the the gumption or courage or a platform to voice that for others to hear. You, you never know what, what your words and how your words will affect the next person. So don't be afraid to just put your words out there because some people may ignore it, but it may just be that one person that it affects. So help that one. I, I think that's definitely a good a very good lesson. I, I think uh I've seen us all three come out of our shell a lot, and especially in this past year. Uh uh to mix results as far as stats, but to a great result as far as like I feel content. Like I feel like we're each finding our voice finally. You know what I mean? And it's really dope to see. So I definitely like that. And you're right. It is everything that somebody said has had somebody out there that's like, oh, yeah, what he said. That That's, yeah. So I, I think that we got to keep on leaning into that, like Faye said. I definitely agree. What say you, Pat? Yes, I, I would say, well, I, I definitely would say I'm, I have gotten better at, and gotten used to um, podcasting. So I'm, I'm like you said, it, we've um, I don't want to use that word because I'm going to get paused. <laughs> I don't want to use that word. But we have we have definitely found our voice and advanced further. But um, 
I would say my main lesson is consistency is key in, in, in general. I like even though, like even if we um we might not have like other um videos dropping from time to time, the simple fact that we're still coming together every every week some type of way or whatever and providing something, it, it that alone helped us to like build it to where we're at um right now. So that was just it just gave me a great example of consistency is key and if you know what I'm saying? If you take your time with it, um um and and everything, you should be it you never know where it's gonna go. If you take your time with it, pretty much. Just keep doing it, and uh, and you will definitely get to where your goal is set. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I totally agree with that one too. That's a really good one. Like, keep being consistent. I, I definitely see like a huge piece of our success has been consistency. Like, and I, I definitely want to shout out face. You know, I got more. We'll talk more at our you know yearly meeting or whatever, but. Definitely want to shout out face because them shorts like be coming through clutch to like fill the void and like give a perspective for some for people to think on. And I don't know if he realized how valuable that's been to like driving subscribers, getting people to like start conversations, and like that being our main goal. Like he really been consistent with that shit since he's you know like found it, like found his niche with it. And, that should be coming through clutch. So I definitely see the consistency in that and how that's been helpful. So keep that shit up, babe. Shout out to you, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That shit has been a huge fight. So yeah. Um, I definitely think for me, man, the, the, the biggest lesson I've learned is it's okay to not be controversial. Like when I first, like when we first started, right? Like I kind of got caught up into the Uma shit because it was kind of like edgy, and it was like you know poking fun at a a, a figure that I knew was going to get hits or whatever. You feel me? But I feel like watching several creators over the past year, I've really learned that like it it really pays more to just be authentic. Like, don't worry about trying to find the story or talking about what's hot today. If you ain't really got like talk about and have the conversation that actually makes sense to you and are organic and, and everything else to take care of yourself. You will find the people that's, that you supposed to find. You know what I mean? So I think that's been huge for me this year because I think the first year I kind of got caught up in the numbers at times. And I think the second year I really leaned into just like, all right, I ain't about to just talk about something just because. Let it be something I want to talk about. Let it be something that's actually moving my spirit. And I got something to say. Not that I'm just talking to talk. You know what I mean? And I think the more we've done that as a collective, honestly, it's to me, it feels better. It feels more like what we kind of set out to envision as far as just like being our normal conversation, but in a podcast format. <clears throat> yeah. Sure. But yeah, man, uh, I think 2023 for the podcast is about to be the shit. Yeah, like I I, like I know I said that in year two, but I feel like year three, like we have so much more knowledge now and the understanding of like who we are, what our audience is, what we what 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 feels right to us, the kind of stuff that the kind of angles we want to take on stuff, and our dynamic is even like getting flushed out more to like where it's like all right, this feels more like how we actually be acting toward each other around each other if we was in the same room at you know in the dorm or some shit you feel me? So, yeah shit. yeah I, I see 2023 being being big for the partners pod squad thank y'all for getting us there 
Salute to y'all. Um, we damn sure couldn't have done it without y'all, 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 uh, especially the OG pod fathers. I don't know who keep going in and out the door sounding like Sue Surf, but uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I definitely appreciate the pod squad, especially those OG members like a honeybee, like a gator girl, like a uh, Nikki and them, like, like you know, like these people that's glow, goddamn last call, like Greg, like these people that's first, first episodes, first lives, first moments and milestones. They was right there, you know what I'm saying? Like rooting us on and shit, riding it, you know what I mean? Like people who believed in us when we were still kind of figuring this shit out and kind of had doubts at times, you know what I mean? Like. I appreciate that shit. So, Pod Squad, keep fucking with us because we're going to keep getting better. We're going to keep on improving quality. We're going to keep on improving consistency. We're going to keep on improving content. We got y'all. 2023 about to be up. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. I almost feel weird going into the, like, segueing from that into uh, the next thing, but it, it must be done. <laughs>